with the nation's top-ranked dining, world-class nightlife, and plenty of fun things to do for the whole family, it's easy to see why the rich and famous would reside in the Crescent City. Actors, athletes, and celebrity chefs are among New Orleans' most notable homeowners. Keep watching for Trip Shock's five most influential people who call New Orleans, Louisiana home. The power couple of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt currently own a house in New Orleans' French Quarter. The pair of Hollywood elites fell in love with the city after visiting in 2007 to view the devastation of Hurricane Katrina. Upon moving to New Orleans, Brangelina set up the Make It Right Foundation, raising millions over the years to put towards new housing in the flood-ravished Lower Ninth Ward. According to TMZ, after selling their $6.5 million mansion, they plan on moving somewhere off the beaten path. Whether the new residents will be in the Crescent City is yet to be seen, but with all the good they have done so far for New Orleans, let's hope they stick around a little longer. America's favorite football family has an untested legacy in New Orleans, Louisiana. The family patriarch, Archie Manning, is a decorated athlete, two-time Pro Bowler, and both college football and pro football Hall of Famer, Archie Manning spent most of his pro career with the New Orleans Saints, having his number unofficially retired after leaving the team in 1982. Archie and wife Olivia raised two of modern football's most cherished superstars, Peyton and Eli Manning, at the couple's Garden District home, making the stunning mansion a museum of football greatness. While the kids have since moved out, it is not uncommon to see Manning family members around the city, with the elder Mannings still holding residence within the city. What better place to live for a world-renowned chef than NOLA, the city of chefs? The New England-born Emeril Lagasse specializes in New Orleans Cajun and Creole cooking styles, with his famous catchphrase, BAM, referring to adding a kick of cajun influence spice to his gourmet goods. Chef Emeril has called his style of cooking New New Orleans and frequently uses local Louisiana ingredients in prepared meals. Lagasse first gained fame in New Orleans, Louisiana as executive chef of local restaurant Commander's Palace, moving from executive chef to TV personality, cookbook author, and successful restaurateur. You can find one of Emeril's popular restaurants throughout the city including Emerald's New Orleans, Nola Restaurant, and Emerald's Delmonico on St. Charles Avenue. One of New Orleans' most proud and passionate celebrity residents is actor John Goodman. The accomplished thespian got his start as a comedian in such films as Revenge of the Nerds and True Stories, but eventually moved to more dramatic roles in Broadway stage shows. John Goodman has supported many New Orleans-based causes, including Hurricane Katrina Relief, Deepwater Horizon Oil Spill Relief, and lending his acting skills to films that portray the city in a positive light, including Disney's The Princess and the Frog. Goodman even met his wife, Annabeth Hartzog, while filming a movie in NOLA, forever cementing his affection for the Crescent City. The man they call the Ragin' Cajun is a lifetime Louisiana resident, born in Carville, Louisiana. James Carville has taken on many roles in his life, all holding a great amount of respect, including U.S. Marine veteran, litigator, advertising consultant, and at the height of his political career, served as Bill Clinton's campaign manager. Since his political days, Carville has held many small roles in many major Hollywood films, contributed to major news networks, and currently teaches political science at Tulane University in New Orleans. James Carville and his wife, Mary Madeline, both reside in the city with their two kids, Maddie and Emma. My name is Mike Fisher with TripShock.com, and I hope you enjoyed TripShock's five most influential New Orleans residents. For more videos on Gulf Coast life and travel, check out our YouTube channel. And as always, we hope to see you on the Gulf Coast soon.